Hello everyone. My name is Carsten Schmolders and I'm responsible for engineering in Bosch Thermotechnology. Welcome to our frequent podcast where we are discussing exciting technology, interesting products and daily project challenges with the people who really make it happen and create our future. And now have a lot of fun with our newest episode. Today's episode will be about the electrification of our heating systems and the TT strategic priority number one, heat pumps. This is also why we are shooting from this location our heat pump lab in Wernau. And I invited Simon Klink, who is responsible for engineering of air water heat pumps. Simon, hi, thank you for being here. Hi, Carsten. Simon, before we go into tech, let's talk about you. Who are you and what do you do? Well, my name is Simon. Um, I share my life with my wife and my son, and also Bosch, of course. Um, when commuting to Vernau, I typically take the bike, like today, even at minus four degrees. And uh, what I do here is, yeah, as you said, responsible for the air water development and taking care of the next generations of heat pumps, like this one. Excellent. So you operate at freezing conditions, our heat pumps also mm -hmm. operate at freezing conditions, but obviously you are not developing them alone. Which locations and teams are involved in the topic? For in heat pump development, we have three main locations. This is Tronas in Sweden, Werner in Germany and Avero in Portugal. And we have smaller teams in Wooster, Deventer, Lollar and Kronov. Okay, so spreading basically a lot of TT locations and many people are involved there. Where are we standing right now with our development? Yeah, well, in, in the past, um, heat pumps were a topic for Nordics and then also for new build in, in Germany and France. Um, meanwhile, heat pumps are the solution number one for decarbonized heating systems. And there we are currently in development of this new heat pump. Um, which then also fits into renovation topics and many more applications. Excellent. What kind of product is this? What are we talking about here? This is the brand new CS5800 that will come to the market within this year. Okay. And what are the challenges in developing such a product? Well, the main challenge is, is we want to be prepared for the future, for the scale up of yeah. heat pumps. Therefore, we are developing a completely new software. Uh, the second main challenge is on sound. Uh, we are targeting to be the most, to have the most silent heat pump in the market. Um, and we have moving parts, moving air, and therefore we have a patented lamella design and a very good encapsulation of the compressor, mm -hmm. which makes the heat pump extremely silent. Okay. The third challenge yeah. at current times when parts are hardly available. Yeah, I can imagine quite a challenge right now with the crazy conditions in our supply market. As I understand, this product is also our first product that is running on natural refrigerants, propane in this case. Yes. What does that mean for technical development of the components? Well, first of all, it means a completely new refrigerant circuit. All components are new in the, in the ref circuit. Um, but it also means on the customer side, higher flow temperatures, more environmental friendly refrigerant, so there are also many benefits for the customer and that's why we do it. Okay, so also then creating new use cases for our customers and establishing new, or going into other markets as new build in the past. Yes. Excellent. How do we fascinate our customers with such a product? Well, all the effort that we put in will also fascinate then the customer, like the sound level, lowest on the market, um, which is then, you can hardly hear it. So therefore, this is a big benefit. But also, um, the design is very good. It looks very nice, but it's also very compact. So it fits below a window um, and it fits nice in front of your house. Yeah, I can imagine coming down from this size now to below the window seat. That is quite, quite a, new, a new size that we have there. And I love the design, not only this one, but also the one from the Buderos outer unit. Really excellent work. Thank you, Simon, for the insights. Thank you also to the teams who are developing these kind of products. Thank you for watching and thank you very much. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Carson.